Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share John 19, verses 23 to 30. That the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his outer garments and made four parts, a part to every soldier and also the tunic. Now the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece. So they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it, to decide whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture. They divided my outer garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Therefore the soldiers did these things, but standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus then saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. From that hour, the disciple took her into his own household. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things had already been accomplished to fulfill the scripture, said, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there, so they put a sponge full of the sour wine upon a branch of hyssop and brought it up to his mouth. Therefore, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. John 19, verses 23 to 30. And this got, uh, here's my devotional. It is finished. In this gospel account, we witness the fulfillment of the prophecies that was spoken about in scripture long ago before Jesus was born. The garments of the Lord will be divided through casting lots. These soldiers had no idea that they were players in the whole scheme of God's plan to bring the only son to die on the cross to save mankind. There had to be people who will bring about such wickedness to fulfill the victory of righteousness. What a loving trait Jesus portrayed in this final work of salvation. He was still thinking of his mother and ensured that his beloved disciple John took care of her now that he was gone. In those times, widows are the most helpless since no one is going to look after them. Mary's husband, Joseph, must have passed on a long time because we hear how Jesus was responsible for her needs to be met. He passed on that responsibility to look after Mary to his most beloved disciple, John. Who else can he rely on but the one who loved him so? This scene was a final end to Jesus' humanity and also the completion of the work of salvation that he was doing for his father. Reflection. Why is completing a work for the Lord important in a Christian's life? When we were born in this world, our um, purpose is not for our own selves. It's not for our parents. It's not for for anyone else. It's not for society. It's not for the, the nation you're born into. It is for the Lord Jesus Christ because God created everything. He owns everything. We are only here to fulfill a purpose and that purpose is to bring glory to God. It's amazing how a lot of people miss out on understanding uh, what the purpose of their life is. So they live their lives for themselves. They live their lives to do what they please. They live their lives to um, gather wealth. They, they live their lives to um, prove to everyone that they are good. It's interesting because that is never, never the purpose why God created you. God created you and me so that we will be able to give him glory that we will be able to uh, 
to be a light to everyone to show the magnificence of God's work in us. It is not to compete with God. It is not to, to show God that you can be on your own and you can do things on your own. <coughs> Excuse me. Even Jesus himself, he was God. He was equal with God. And yet, he obeyed the law. He obeyed the will of the Lord, which is to die on the cross. He didn't want to die, I'm sure, because he's also human. So, <coughs> excuse, he could experience pain. And yet, he did not clamor for that convenience, for that comfort. He did what his father wanted to be done to save mankind so that he could they could be reconciled to the Lord Jesus Christ without Jesus we will be experiencing the wrath of God because we're all sinners so all our sins will be punished without the Lord Jesus Christ sacrifice on the cross so that's how important the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross is and when he died on the cross he said it is finished meaning we don't need to add anything to what he has done. We need to believe in him and we need to do the work for Christ, which is to spread the good news and to make disciples of all nations. So that is our mandate. That is our purpose. Our purpose is not to enrich ourselves. Our purpose is not to, to be proud of ourselves, of our accomplishment. Our purpose is not to fight with everybody and tell everyone that you're better than them. Our purpose is to be humble and to bring the Lord's kingdom into this earth. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs and I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for the Lord. God loves you so much. Stay safe.